Hey everybody, welcome to The Real Show Barbecue. Today I'm gonna to show you how to make some easy, great tasting burnt ends using a chuck roast. If you're short on time and you don't have all day to cook a, a whole brisket, to me this is the way to go. Uh, you can cook it in basically half the time or even less, especially uh, we're gonna be using the pit barrel cooker. As you can see, it's already smoking behind me. We already got it set up and if you're not familiar with the, the pit barrel cooker, I'll shoot up a link up here to one of my previous videos of how, how we began and how we set it up and so forth. Uh, it's a great cooker. I highly recommend it. And today we're also using wild cherry wood. Now I purchased a, a bunch of varieties of woods from a company called Smoking Licious, and that's without a G. Uh, go in there and check them out. They can, you can buy different types of woods. You can buy them in chunks. You can buy them in chips, shavings, uh, basically anything that you want on there. Uh, they're a great company to deal with, so I highly recommend them. So let's go ahead and get started on how we're going to prepare this chuck roast. Here is our chuck roast. You're looking at about two and a half pound chuck roast. roast. This is basically the biggest that they had in the butcher shop. And we're going to put a little bit of olive oil. There's our binder on both sides. Uh, we got some new product that we're trying out. And this is by Frag Out Flavor. And this is our salty sergeant. sergeant. It's a salty steak and burger seasoning. All right, again, we're going to kind of put this on liberally. The, the salt in it looks um, pretty chunky, so uh, we may not have to put quite as much on there. All right, our next layer is going to be the Constitution, which is a sweet and smoky type uh, rum, so we're going to try that. Okay, got it on there again. You want to get all the sides all the way around it, get a good coating all the way around it. We're going to let this sit for 10 or 15 minutes or so and kind of let this start to uh, melt in and kind of absorb some into the meat. All right, let's go ahead and get this on the cooker. And get it right in here. That's a little sizzle going on. Put in our Maverick Instant Remote. Let's get it in the thick part here. Okay. Let's see where we're at. Okay. Close this up. And we're going to let it do its thing until we get about 165 internal. And then we're going to wrap it in some butcher paper to get it to where we want internal from there. All right, it's been a couple of hours. Let's see what we're at internal. Hopefully you can see that. I know there's a lot of smoke, but there's some great color on it. Let's see. We are at... Around 160 there, 165 there, 165, 166. I think we're good to go ahead and take this guy off and wrap it in some butcher paper. Okay, we've got it on a butcher paper. We're gonna kind of wrap this up a little bit. I'm just gonna kind of fold it over. Make sure that it's good and wrapped tight. Fold the sides under. And we're going to put this back on the smoker or the cooker until we reach about anywhere from 195 to 200. And then we'll slice it up. 
All right, we are right around 195, so we're going to go ahead and take this off. And we're going to put it on the cutting board and cut it up. All right, let's unwrap this. I apologize if you see any flies. I'm having to, we're outside today, so we're having to kind of fight the flies today. There's a lot of juice. Looks great. It's got some awesome color from that rub combination. All right, let's see here if we can cut this up. We'll kind of cut it in cubes here. Let's see, let's set the grain running across here. I'm going to try to cut it across the grain. Wow, it's got a nice smoke ring to it. It's slicing like butter. All right, let's cut it across this way. If your cubes are not perfect, uh, that's fine. It's, I mean, it's not going to be perfect. Got to cut up. I think what I'm going to do is some of these larger pieces. I'm going to kind of cut those in smaller pieces. All right, I think we kind of got it where we want it to now. So what we're going to do is put them in a full pan. Let's go ahead and just dump these right in. Sauce we're going to be using is by Veterans Q. This is their sweet heat. I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. And we're going to add some brown sugar to this as well. Again, I'm just going to kind of eyeball it. Then we'll kind of stir it around. That brown sugar is going to help it give it really, really like candy look, that glossy look. And I'm going to cook, put these um, right back into the cooker uncovered. I'm going to go ahead and take both of these rebarbs out and leave them out. All right, let's check these out right quick. 30 minutes in. Hope you can see this. There's a lot of bubbling going on. That's basically what we want. So we're going to take these off and give them a try. All right, hopefully you can see this, guys. We got kind of a muggy day out here today, but these things turned out great. The smell is incredible. Again, below in the show more section, I will list everything and all the products that I use today. Be sure to check them out. They're great stuff. So, look at that. Perfect, perfect. Oh, my goodness. We are super tender. Fell apart, basically. They render down very well. And that sauce just got a little bit of a heat to it. Because one of the seasons we used, one of the rubs we used, had a little bit of a... Little bit of a heat to it and then the, the the sweet heat from the veterans q barbecue sauce together it gives it a little bit of kick but not bad again if you're you know slow i mean pushed on time and just can't do all day cook basically just took two uh three and a half close to four hours so not bad at all thanks so much for watching we really appreciate you supporting this channel uh, if you're not a subscriber uh, please consider subscribing uh, hitting that like button if you like what you see. Send me a message if you, there's something you want me to try that you would like to see um, on a video. I'll be glad to consider it. We appreciate you all again so much. God bless.